Hi everyone, welcome to Leisure Life Live. I'm Veronica. And I'm Tana. And we are here today to continue our series. This is our third series so far uh, about gift giving. So we, throughout the month of November, have been talking about, first we talked about kids gifts that you can make for kids, babies, and teens. And then last week we talked about kid gifts that you can make for people that are special to you, adult gifts. Um, so we talked about, we had a whole show of that. And today we're gonna talk about gifts for people that are a little harder to shop for. So uh, things that you want to do that's probably a little smaller, that goes a little quicker, things that you can make in quantity of. So we are going to continue the way we've been doing our giveaways. Any three books we talk about today, put those three books in the comments for a chance to win. And we'll go on for a few days. So you don't have to do it, you know, the second you see the books. Wait till the end, pick your three favorites, Tell us below what you like, and we will review all the books at the end that we talk about because we have a lot, but we're really looking for something that's a little extra special, a little, uh, a little more special than something that's store-bought. So something you can make but doesn't take a whole lot of time uh, to make. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start with our yarn uh, ideas. So, yeah, Shana, what do you have? Quick and, quick and easy mm -hmm. selections. Like Veronica said, things that we can make in multiples or that right. don't take very much time. Right. And you still have time between now and uh, Christmas to get them done. Right. So the first book that we have is really kind of cute. It is uh, Dishcloth Dresses. And I really have never thought too much about dressing my uh, <laughs> detergent with a, a dress, but they are very cute. And here you can see how they fit on the bottles. So your bottle sitting on the counter is super cute. Yeah, super All dressed fun up for a festive and occasion. And trendy and yeah. you know, just a little something special to dress up your kitchen. And um, to go with those, we've got these like little scrubbies. Mm -hmm. So um, jumping ahead a little bit, you can you could pair a pair of scrubbies with a pair uh, with this little dishcloth dress if you have like you know sister-in-laws or you know a couple of sister-in-laws you can make a couple of the dresses with a couple of the scrubbies and pairs for pairs yeah and what's really cool about these scrubbies <laughs> <laughs> what's really fun about these scrubbies is that they can be used for the bath or for the kitchen so you can, sure can you know you can do like if you get some bath bombs or make some bath bombs you can give a scrubby with the bath bomb because yep. it can be a bath item obviously you don't it's a go, great combination you don't want to go back and forth but i mean you know you can give it as a kitchen gift or you can give it as a bathroom gift and you know what i do with these these are made out of cotton I throw these in my dishwasher when I mm -hmm. when I wash my dishes. I just throw them in my dishwasher, mm -hmm. and they dry and they're really they're really great. They uh, last a long time. The yarn's very durable, mm -hmm. and the scrubby stuff takes all of that stuff you've been cooking right off of those pots and pans. Yeah, and these are turtles, so these are super fun. Everyone's trying to save the turtles right now. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> well, and we got pigs. Aren't they cute? They're tied together. We should have untied them, but they're uh, it's a cute little combination. And then we have the little pairs we were talking about, our pair of pairs <laughs> that we were talking about earlier. I like the pairs because they're festive, but they can still be used year round, but they feel like a holiday gift to me. They do. They so do. I thought the pairs. And see, we good. have a just cute little yellow dress, a little yellow summer sundress mm -hmm. for your dishwashing liquid, or this cute little teal one and peach. We have some in every color. And then for our scrubbies, you know, flowers are just year-round favorites. So you see how it different it looks. You can use the variegated yarn, you can use a solid yarn. So super fun idea. So kitchen and bathroom gifts, check. So All the right. dishcloth dresses are knit. And that's Debbie Trainer is the author. And the um, scrubbies are crochet. Yes. And um, who's the author on that one? So that is Robin Mazza. So can, keep those books in mind if they're some of the top three that you see today. Yeah, so so cute scrubby so far. And, and more dishcloth dresses. More dishcloth dresses. So those are our first two selections. Then, um, you know, cup cozies. So cup cozies are fun. And we have two styles of cup cozies in this book. We have the style that can be used for your taller cups. So those straw cups I know are super popular right now. We have a few different styles that can be used on a water bottle, really to insulate that cold drink so it doesn't give condensation on your hands. Mm -hmm. 
So um, super fun designs. We've got, um, you know, the little birthday balloons or... Um, got bees. Exactly. Giraffe. Super fun. And then we've got our, our secondary style, which you can see here, is these, uh, the, for the mugs. So they just button on. Elephant, right. Some of them button and then some of them tie, as in the case of the bees. You can see this quick little tie on there. So that would be a fun gift for a teacher or, you know, a you know, close friend or. Um, and these are really great because you can make these with your yarn stash. Right. Um, Everybody, everybody crochet, crochets and knits has a yarn stash. Right. And this, these don't take very much yarn, so you just go pull the colors that you have in your yarn stash and make these cute things. And there's a lot of designs in this book. Actually, there are, I believe, uh, Michelle Wilcox did this book, and mm -hmm. there are, I Let's believe, about a dozen yeah, I designs think there's, in there. Yeah. yeah, I think we've got 12. Yeah. So, those are really cute, really fun, fuzzies. quick to make. All right, and then uh, while you talk about socks, I'm going to see if we have anyone joining us. Got uh, fun crochet socks, and who doesn't like a cute pair of socks? Uh, these are, we've got some leg warmers. They're really soft and really fun. Got a fun pattern on them. And we've got uh, a, adult lady socks. We've got some men's socks, and we've got some... We've got some that you use the color changing yarn on. Those really would be fun to make and that's a really easy stitch. Uh, we've got some short socks in this book and we've got yoga socks. And I, I can't put my foot up on the table so I can't really show you but <laughs> the heel comes out the back in the yoga socks. Here, we Isn't can... that a great color? Yes, and here's what the yoga socks look like on, and I think that's super fun. You know, it would be super fun with that yoga mat that holder that we showed that last we showed week. last week. That's <laughs> exactly right. That's right. So you do yoga mat holder with some yoga socks. Yoga socks. Or you could just do yoga socks for a quick little gift for someone that's hard to shop for. So, um, and those are really good for people who like to sit on the couch too, because my toes get hot in my socks. So I, mm. first thing I do when I sit down on the couch at night is take my socks off. Yoga socks are good for that. That's as well a as good yoga. Idea, as actually. well as yoga. I had not considered that before. Yep. It's a really great idea. Look at that. Keeps your feet cooler. <laughs> so Becky King Rollins has awesome ideas that she's been seeing the emails and she's trying to figure out how she's gonna try everything. <laughs> <laughs> well pick, pick one and start. Yeah, the idea is not to have to pick everything, but the idea is that you know, we know that you're trying to give a personal gift, that you're trying to show something that has a little bit of emotion behind it and really pick that personal gift. So the best way is really Quick to and fun. give you lots of fun ideas so yeah. you can pick your favorite and really be inspired. You know, I hadn't thought about it, but someone. with these little dresses, you could put them on as package de decorations too. You really, Just you know what? tie them on a bow on the front of a package, wouldn't that be cute? You put it on the front of a wine bottle bag. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> so now we're you talking. Could, you could just get a plain wine bottle bag. Yes. And then you could put it over the handle. Just look at us. We have so <laughs> many ideas. We are full of ideas. All right. <laughs> okay, so well, the next one we next? have is a knit book. It's quick and easy mittens. All sizes, all, all shapes, all colors. And as you can see on the table here, we've pull, we pulled the projects, and they are so much fun and so colorful. And most of them use the uh, color changing yarn, so it really is easy just to keep knitting and make something really cute. And there, we've got lots of sizes. There's nine sizes inside this book. So there's a pattern for everyone on your list. So whereas some of the other books may have three sizes, we literally have nine. So there is not a person that you cannot make a mitten for with right. that book. Just remember on the kids stuff, tie a string to them and run them through their coat so they keep their mittens so they don't lose their mittens. Mmm, good idea. Yep. It's the only way to kids keep up with their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so another crochet idea. I just love this book. It's called Home Team Gear, and uh, Jessica Boyer did this book. Jessica uh, did a Teach Me Tuesday with us where she showed us some of her amigurumi stuff and her uh, tips and tricks for amigurumi. But this book I just love because it has a whole bunch of different mascots, and I'm gonna show you some of the mascots. And these are just quick and easy little designs. So here's, and she chose common mascots. So these are gonna be your common mascots. You've got your, your bees hornet. or hornets mm -hmm. or, you know. Um, and a lion. Yep, your eagles. Go eagles. We've got a wolf, I think. Cardinals. 
Yeah, we've got a wolf. Our bears or grizzlies mm -hmm. or, you know. And um, a tiger. Tiger, yep. And I guess, what is that, like a wolverine or something? Uh, maybe cougar. Bobcat. Bobcat. Yeah, there we Bobcats. go, Bobcat. And then, Look at us with knowing what our animals are. <laughs> well, we were the wolverines, so we would have been out of luck with this bug. <laughs> These are but, simple, flat circles, basically. So they're, again, for amigurumi, and we mm -hmm. talk about a lot about amigurumi. This is a 1D piece of amigurumi that is really, really easy to make. It's really, really easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and you don't have to worry about the things like you have to worry about all the stuffing and all the sizing stuffing, so. and all of that right. stuff. Right. So what you can do uh, with these after you pick your favorite, this is my daughter's school here, the uh, Bulldogs, is she does in the book have a couple of designs for some simple hats and scarves. Now you can use a you know an item that your person already has. You can just give them. The little, yeah, you can turn it into a pendant or something, but you could also put it on a hat. So if you're the bulldogs and your school colors are blue and white, then you have a really truly personal gift. Yeah. And so um, same with scarves, you can do different scarves. So um, you know, if your bulldogs are red and black, you can add, attach it to the end of the scarf. So neat way to you have lots of flexibility with this book. So there's a couple of simple scarf designs and hat designs. And, and um, if you don't want to make the hat, go get one of those CC beanies that everybody mm -hmm. loves and make one of these and attach it to it, and there you go. And it makes it quick and easy, yeah. right. Or you can, like I said, you can attach this to something that's already done. I mean, you could attach this to the front of one of those cups we were talking about, the straw cups. Yeah. You know, you could. Um, so there are lots of fun things you can do with these little mascots. So that book comes from, that comes from the Home Team Gear book. Um, I was chuckling a little while ago because... Chris Lopez said the giant blue mitten reminds her of when she knit once because her cage was off. <laughs> I think that's meant for a large man's hand. <laughs> but you know, um, but you know, <laughs> your gauge can gauge be off. Too. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. So, uh, oh, Sarah Green has a great idea. She says you can put them on a seat cushion. Oh, you know, that's a great idea. Yeah, boy, I sure Take it to the stadium. <laughs> yes, you can put them on the back of a stadium seat. That so is a awesome. really, really good idea. Yep. Thanks, Sarah. Yep, good, but, good yeah, idea. Yeah, loving that idea. So, um, let's so see. So, what I else do we, we have, have in knit one and crochet? More, uh, this quick flowers. <laughs> so, the reason, actually, we have a couple more because I forgot about the bookmarks, too. So, out of the quick flower books, there are some bigger projects in here, but I love these breaths. So, you can make hair ornaments really easily. This would be a great gift for um, really anyone. And then you have this headband too. So brettes and hair ornaments with a, you know, so you just have to, you just have to crochet one flower instead right. of many. But yeah, you can actually see them in hair there. And then I did also pull this wreath with the flowers. If you wanted to do something that was a little bigger for yourself or for a gift, um, putting these flowers on something that's ready-made. It's that, it's that integration of using something that's store-bought and homemade, so you can get it done a little faster, um, but still have that homemade touch to it. And these are good for garlands, for um, right. lots of different things, for decoration of a, as she said, an existing project. Mm -hmm. And um, our last crochet book, is this book beautiful bookmarks book there's a lot of beautiful bookmarks in here but i like this this corner bookmark because it's very different you don't see the corner bookmarks a lot it's really small it's not going to take you a lot of time but um you know it's nice to be able to you know instead of dog earing your books mm -hmm. have that corner bookmark that's not very intrusive yeah, it's that really you can good idea keep in your book while you're reading because my problem with bookmarks is I always set them aside mm -hmm. um but then they're not there when you need they're them. They're not there when you need them, exactly. Right. But here are a couple more from that book that are really cute. Oh, if the birdhouses are cute. Yeah, like you get a book club or mm -hmm. something that you who are wanting to do little gifts for. You've got, you know, the birdhouse and you've got the little flower. So there's lots of fun designs in our beautiful bookmark book if yep. you're looking for something small. Really and, awesome. Yeah, quick. Um, so now, moving on to craft gifts. So we've got lots of fun craft ideas. What do you have for us? Well, we talked a little bit about the scrubbies and soaps. Mm -hmm. So we've got a home soap making book. And this has got recipes in it for lots of super simple soaps to build. 
and a lot of them you do them in molds so you make multiples at once and um, so you could make them for again your book mm -hmm. club your friends at church mm -hmm. um, so you just make them like you would cookies and make right make soaps instead of cookies right so if you have you know like lots of you know, teenagers in your family, and you're like, mm -hmm. what am I going to get for these six teenagers? Right. You know, I mean, or uh, you have several people that you're trying to mark off your list. Um, you know, I've got these five people. They're all, you know, they would all enjoy something like this, and that mold really makes it easy to make lots of them. This book is Kim Layton's, and she also put inside some gift-giving tips and how to package the soaps. So this book has got some... Uh, extra stuff in it that would help you for wrapping and presenting your gift mm -hmm. if you make the soaps so it's a really great book it's probably got I think it's got eight or nine recipes in it and along those same lines we have that make and give series mm -hmm. so so you showed us the the book for soap we also have the candle making book and I'm trying to I have that one right there at home and that smells so amazing this is the gem uh, the gemstone candle and then we have these candles, which we feature on the front, which you just use like little mason jars for. So those you could also do in mass. But um, I was gonna show the page that shows all the candles in the book. Um, the other thing that you can do with these is you can make them with citronella, so they can be outdoor candles. Oh, that's a good idea. And lots of people who barbecue and things, mm -hmm. that makes a great gift for the person that does a lot of barbecuing. Yeah, that's a great idea. And like as, like Tana was alluding to, with this Making Gift series, you have uh, gift giving ideas for everyone. So these are wax melts. Mm -hmm. So if you've moved on past candles and you like doing the little wax melts, um, you can actually um, There's do recipes those, for this. There's recipes for these in here too. Um, but yeah, so, and styling tips. Yes, yeah, so there are gift giving guides for every single candle and soap in there. And then and the other one that we book. have is from Stephanie Rose, and it's Home Apothecary. And it basically um, goes along with the me time trend that's going mm -hmm. on right now that everyone loves things that smell good mm -hmm. and feel good on your skin. And it's got bath bombs, soaps, uh, scrubs, and salts inside mm -hmm. it. And we um, those things don't have a very long shelf life mm -hmm. because people make them and use them so mm -hmm. it's hard for us to have the things to show you guys mm -hmm. because they they don't have a very long shelf life but they when you use them they are very very mm -hmm. they smell good uh, it's got lip balm in there yeah that chocolate mint lip balm is really great there's uh, coffee massage bars yeah there's a mint scrub a tub tea, which oh, is super Oh, I love fun. these these little tubes of bath salts. Mm -hmm. Aren't those amazing? And um, on our blog, we're actually doing a gift giving blog uh, where we featured we actually featured the little botanical perfumes. Awesome. Because we thought that those were a really neat, unique way to actually give you know something you can kind of make a batch of, mm -hmm. and then you pour them into uh, little little uh, test tubes. And you can have little vials of the, actually those, the, it's the yeah. It's like a roll-on. You can get the little roll-on, right? The test tubes was the bath salts. Right. But um, the little roll-on that you can get at the craft stores. But um, you can make those in mass because you can make a, in a bigger make batch a of batch. that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, individually, you know. Those make great um, stocking stuffers. Mm-hmm. Very yep. nice. Yep. So, um Along the lines of craft, we have one more. We were going to show this mason jar craft book. Um, that is fun because you can really personalize. Um, you can really personalize your um, your jar gift. So right. we've all done the bean soup or the cookies. But what's fun about this book is it goes beyond that, right? It has gifts for the seamstress or the you know. You can turn it into a soap dispenser. You can do lots of fun things. Yeah, Show if you if there's someone that you uh, that does a lot of sewing, you can make them a button jar, mm -hmm. and with the pin cushion on the top. Uh, that's in here, right here. It's really cute. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. um, all you have to do is have a few. Uh, let, there's a sticker label, a little bit of fabric, some buttons. Mm -hmm. It makes a great gift. A soap, a cute soap dispenser. And so really all of these projects in this book take a little bit of ribbon, 
a little bit of paint, mm -hmm. a little bit of fabric, a little bit of burlap, a little bit of paper, and the jars. I love And it's they're really creative. Yeah, and I love the one on the front. Um, it shows turning a jar into its own little ecosystem, your mm -hmm. own little um, your own little garden in there, a little self-sufficient garden. I think that's right. a really fun, neat idea. But so if you're looking for some DIY mason jar craft ideas, then that one is uh, is for you. So moving on from craft, um, this one incorporates a little more sewing. We've got a couple of them. And so these My Pet, Pet Crafts books. And um, what the idea in here that I thought was fun that we could use for um, smaller gifts are these dog magnets. And aren't, I mean, They're you made just with use felt, felt mm -hmm. and you cut out the felt and you create these really cute dogs. Little simple so, stitching around them. Right. I mean, you know, we have a Cavalier Spaniel and I think that, you know, the Cavaliers on the bottom there, I think that would be super fun. But if someone just loves their dog, um, you can really create the personal image of that person's dog and give it to them with like a picture of them and their dog. I yeah. mean, it makes a really personal gift. It does. And then, um, so anyway, and then I And there's a little coin purse with a dog and a cat that's mm -hmm. a cute little coin yep. purse. And there's a little raccoon cup cozy. Mm -hmm. So super fun things for the pet lovers in your life. And I have... You have the sister book the, to that. I do. These were Vicki Klontz books, Crafty Critters. Again, felt is so much fun to work with. You just cut out the shapes and do simple sewing and you can make pin cushions, little bags. There's lots of stuff in this book that's really fun. Uh, and kind of for all age groups, there's a little bag, an eyeglass holder, this cute little fox bag. Let's see, what else do we have? We've got them in a couple of colors. Then we've got these little critter magnets. Which are the, the sister magnet to our dog magnets. These right. are more like the wildlife critters. Right. So this is super cute. And we've got the leaf mug rug, so coasters mm -hmm. out of felt. That's really a it's and really great stuff. That eyeglass, that eyeglass, log eyeglass uh, holder. I think that's a fun idea mm -hmm. too. Just some simple stitching mm -hmm. if you do embroidery, it's easy to do. Mm -hmm. These are all really great books with lots of great ideas. Yeah, in them. yeah, and our very last book, this is a holiday themed book. But it's just a mini cross stitch book and I love this because you don't have to do a big giant cross stitch. A little tiny mini design you can do on a special card. You can make a little ornament out of it. You can add it to a gift. You can just, you can frame it for a little mini frame. There are lots of fun things you can do with just a tiny little project. Mm -hmm. And um, these are fun too. So this is uh, 50 cross stitch quickies Christmas. So um, let's see what we have. So we've got lots of people talking about the silicone ice trays and using those for the soap. For the soap molds. That's a good idea. It is a very good idea. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so those are our ideas. Oh, wait, you know what? I just forgot one. So our final one is probably... Uh, our songbook. Yes. So we this year came out with a five set um, hostess, hostess set for a Christmas songbook, uh, carol songbook set. So this is really fun because you can use these books um, not only as a song book, which they are, but this hostess guide. So every set comes with uh, five song books and a separate hostess guide. And the song so, books are the same. They have the same songs in all five. Right. So you would give your guests each one at your, at your, at your party and everyone then you can have a sing along. But I think this would make a really great gift in terms of just giving someone the set mm -hmm. too because it just shows them especially I think like a teacher gift or really you know like if you have a neighbor you're not really sure you know what they like I think that this it's is, pretty makes a neat gift right exactly and what I love about these songbooks is not only are there a really nice variety of songs in them but I love that there's a memory keeping component to this so in the back of every songbook you have sign-in sheets for your carolers. So there's, I think, 15 different sets where you can sign in and talk about your favorite carols, talk about some of your memories. So you could, over the 15 years that you have this, 
really gather like a memory keeping of you know it becomes like a little set a little like mini scrapbook too it does but the hostess guide has a really a lot of neat things too because it's got like 25 songs 25 recipes appetizers party uh, ideas gift ideas party ideas 12 different parties that you could do some tips and tricks on hosting a caroling party so uh, this is something that you could do or it's something like the party could be the gift to your mm -hmm. friends right you know or you could use it in a couple different ways where you could actually give it uh, the set away as a gift too so um, fun ideas so we are gonna run through everything yeah this would be a good thing for uh, if you have an office party where everyone exchanges gifts mm -hmm. this would be one of those that anybody in the group would appreciate if they if yes. they opened this they would appreciate it. if you do a gift exchange this would be a great gift exchange especially when, if it's like a dirty Santa yep. and I think this would be and you're always looking for that gift that everyone's gonna want and mm -hmm. keep trading yeah so it all goes together in a little slip case so our our books are we will let me see if we have any questions before we go through here uh becky says she loves all the ideas she's even using some vintage books from leisure arts that she found at a thrift store she awesome. loves her leisure arts that's great so um so we've got the christmas carol songbook set we've got 50 cross stitch quickies the my pet crafts crafty critters home candle making diy mason jars Quick Crochet with Flowers, Home Apothecary, Home Team Gear, Home Soap Making, Cup Cozies, we got So Cute Scrubbies, Beautiful Bookmarks, Quick and Easy Mittens, Fun Socks, and Dishcloth Dresses. So comment below, pick three books that you would love. And we are not going to be here next week because it's Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Enjoy some time. Eat lots of turkey. Yeah, enjoy some time with your family. We're also not going to have um, um, Teach Me Tuesday next week. So uh, we will be bringing you a lot of great content still, but we're going to take a week off from Teach Me Tuesday and um, Leisure Life Thursdays, but we will be here the following week in We'll December. pack a lot in the next week. <laughs> So everyone, um, have a great time and happy crafting and happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Bye.